Welcome to the spoken tutorial on uploading and editing resources in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn about URL resource, book resource, and editing resources in Moodle. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB, and PHP obtained through XAMPP. 5.6.30, Moodle 3.3, and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. This tutorial assumes that your site administrator has set up a Moodle website and registered you as a teacher. Learners of this tutorial should have a teacher login on Moodle, at least one course assigned to them by the administrator, and some course material uploaded for their respective course. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. To practice this tutorial, you will need to add a student to your course. To know how to add a student, please refer to the tutorial Users in Moodle. I have already added a student Priya Sinha to my course. Switch to the browser and log in to your Moodle site as a teacher. Click on the Calculus course in the left navigation menu. We have added a page resource and a folder resource earlier in the series. We will now add some additional course material. Click on the gear icon at the top right and then click on Turn Editing On. Click on Add an Activity or Resource link at the bottom right of the Basic Calculus section. A pop-up opens with a list of resources. It is called Activity Chooser. Scroll down and select URL from the list. Detailed description about the resource is seen on the right side. With a URL resource, one can add links to online resources. These could be documents, online videos, wiki pages, open educational resources, etc. Click on the Add button at the bottom of the Activity Chooser. In the name field, I will type Evolutes of Basic Curves. Then, in the external URL text box, type the URL mentioned here. Description text area is an optional field. I will type the text as shown here. Click on Display Description on Course Page checkbox below this text area. Now, Click on Appearance to expand the section. The display option here is to decide how the video will be displayed. There are four options in the drop-down. Automatic option selects the best option based on browser settings and screen resolution. Embed opens the video inside the course itself. Open redirects the user to the URL within the same window. In pop-up opens the video in a new pop-up window. When you select in pop-up, the pop-up width and pop-up height options get enabled. You can modify the values as per your preference. I will select embed as the display option. Scroll down to activity completion section and click on it to expand it. This section helps the teacher decide if she wants to track the completion of an activity. There are three options under Completion Tracking. Depending on the resource, you can decide the tracking mechanism. Let me select the third option here and click on Student must view this activity to complete it checkbox. Scroll down and click on Save and Return to Course button at the bottom. A check mark next to the activity name 
indicates when the activity is complete. Let us now create a book resource. As the name suggests, it will have multiple pages, chapters and subchapters. It can have multimedia content as well. Go back to the browser window now. Click on Add an Activity or Resource link at the bottom right of the Basic Calculus section. Scroll down and select Book from the list of resources. Click on Add button at the bottom of the Activity Chooser. In the Name field, type Iterating Evolutes and Involutes. Type the description as shown here. Click on Appearance to expand the section. The first option is Chapter Formatting. This decides how we see the chapters and subchapters. The options are self-explanatory. You can click on the help icon before the drop-down to read the explanations. I will let it be numbers. The next option is style of navigation. This decides how we show the previous and next links. TOC is the table of contents. If we select images, Previous and next will be shown as arrows. Text will show previous and next chapters in the navigation. We also have the option of providing a custom title to every chapter navigation. This will then override the chapter name being shown as text. I will select text as the style of navigation. Next, click on Restrict Access section to expand it. This helps us decide who has access to this resource. By default, there is no restriction. It means anyone who is enrolled in this course will be able to see this book. Let me click on the Add Restriction button. There are some options here. You can read the explanation of each one and decide which restriction to select. We'll put an activity completion condition for the URL resource we created earlier. Let us restrict access to this book till a student marks that as complete. Click on Activity Completion. Depending on the option we choose for restriction, the fields here will be different. Choose Evolutes of Basic Curve in the Activity Completion drop-down. Then, select Must be Marked Complete as the condition. Scroll down and click on Save and Display button at the bottom of the page. We can now add chapters and subchapters to this book. Type the chapter title as Introduction. Type the content as Introduction to Evolutes and Involutes. You can copy and paste your lecture note, if any. Click on Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. You can now see this chapter in the middle of the page and there is a table of contents on the right side. Clicking on Exit Book Link will take us back to the Calculus course. Notice there are four icons on the right in the Table of Contents block below the Introduction chapter. Edit Delete Hide and Add New Chapter let me add a subchapter now. Click on the plus icon indicating Add New Chapter. Subchapters are created just like chapters. They have an extra checkbox to indicate that they are subchapters. Click on this checkbox. Type chapter title as Classical Evolutes and Involutes. Copy and paste the content as shown here. You will find the content for this book, Iterating Evolutes and Involutes, in the code files of this tutorial. Click on Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. You can now see the subchapter. Also notice the navigation for the previous chapter. Notice that there is an extra icon next to the icons on the right. The up and down arrows are to reorder the chapters. Let us see what happens when we move this subchapter up. Click on the up arrow. 
Notice that introduction now becomes the second chapter instead of a subchapter. Move it back as first chapter again. How do we make classical evolutes and involutes as a subchapter again? Click on the gear icon below the title to edit it. Now click on the subchapter checkbox to make it a subchapter. Scroll down and click on Save Changes button. Let us go back to the calculus course again. We now have the below resources for the topic Basic Calculus. We can reorder these resources by dragging them. Let me drag Evolutes of Basic Curves URL resource above the other two. There is an edit link to the right of every resource. Click on it. There are settings to edit, hide, duplicate and delete the resource. These are self-explanatory. There are two other options, Move Right and Assign Roles. Click on Move Right. This will give a little indentation to the resource. This is helpful for visual representation of a resource, which is a part of another resource. I will click on Move Left to bring this resource back to its original position. We can now log out of Moodle. Let me log in as student Priya Sinha now. This is how student Priya Sinha will view this page. Notice that the completion boxes are not ticked the first time. She will need to view this URL to mark this resource as complete. And the book resource is not clickable till the URL resource is marked complete. Let me click on Evolutes of Basic Curves resource. Now click on Calculus link in the breadcrumb. The resource is now marked complete and the book is available to the student. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about URL resource, book resource, and editing resources in Moodle. Here is a small assignment for you. Add more chapters and subchapters in the book we created earlier. Reorder them as directed. Refer to the assignment link of this tutorial for details. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Nancy and Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.